Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Exercise 7. Unit 4. Interchange 1. Unit 4. Exercise number 7. Listening. Who is my date? Now, look at the picture here. What do you see? A young lady. Another young lady. Three persons. Three young men. They are in a program show. Television show. Maybe TV program. contest, a competition, contestants, they will ask, they will answer the questions and this young lady will ask them the questions. Let's start to listen. In this exercise, you listen to Belle, Jean, Tony, and Linda. Then they will answer questions about music, movies, television programs. Let's start to listen. Page 25, exercise 7, listening. Who's my date? Part A. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date. Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question, on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let Let's answer question number one. Music for music. Bell. What's his favorite music? Classical. John. Jazz is John's favorite music. John likes jazz a lot. John, jazz. Tony. Rock music. Linda. What does Linda like? Linda likes pop music. Linda likes pop music. Let's listen to question number two. Movies. Let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. 
And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. For movies, Belle. Belle likes thrillers. Thrillers. What does it mean, thrillers? Interest, interesting stories, exciting stories, exciting movies. John, westerns. Tony, Tony likes horror films. Linda, Linda likes horror films too. Television programs, let's start to listen. And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Three, television programs. Bell, news programs, news programs. John, talk shows. Tony, game shows. Linda, Linda likes talk shows and game shows. Talk shows and game shows. Time is up. Time is up. Time is finished. There is no time. Exercise number eight. Look at the picture here. What do you see? Soccer match, players, football players, fans, fans, people who watch the match, go frogs, ducks, frogs, ducks. Ducks won. This means ducks. The score of ducks won. The score of frogs zero. So ducks and frogs are teams. Football teams. Soccer teams. Frogs and ducks. Like Ahli and the Malik. Exercise 8. Conversation. An invitation. A. Listen and practice. Page 25. Exercise 8. Conversation. An invitation. Part A. Listen and practice. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Dave and Susan. What does Dave have? He has, Dave has, tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Dave is inviting Susan. Would Susan like to go? Would Susan like to go to the soccer match? I'd love to means I want. 
She likes to. She wants. What time does the match start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. Sounds here means seems. That sounds great. That's great. Does Dave want to have dinner at six o'clock? He'd like to. He wants. But he has to work late. He has to work late. Where are Dave and Susan going to meet each other? They are going to meet each other at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. At the stadium, the stadium is place where you have a lot of seats, a lot of people, or to see a match. To see a match, it's a place for fans, for people to see matches. Dave and Susan. Are going to meet at the gate. The gate, the big door, very big door of the stadium. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. That seems fine. That's fine. See you there. Goodbye. Part B. Listen to Dave and Susan at the soccer match. Which team does each person like? Yes, that's another goal for the Ducks. That's the Ducks three, the Frogs zero. You really are a Ducks fan, Dave. I know. They're my favorite team. They're okay, but I like the Frogs a lot better, especially Mario Sanchez. He is very talented. It's too bad he's not playing today. Listen again. Page twenty-five, exercise eight. Which team does each person like? Yes, that's another goal for the Ducks. That's the Ducks three, the Frogs zero. You really are a Ducks fan, Dave. I know. They're my favorite team. They're okay, but I like the Frogs a lot better. Especially Mario Sanchez. He is very talented. It's too bad he's not playing today. Dave likes the ducks. Susan likes the frogs. The ducks scored three goals. The frogs. The frog score was zero, so three to zero. Mario is very talented, talented, very gifted. He has a gift. He's a professional player. Does Mario Sanchez play today? No, he doesn't. Exercise number nine. Let's start to listen. Page twenty-six. Exercise nine. Grammar focus. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would.
Nine, grammar focus. Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to? Plus, main verb, infinitive. This is invitation, to invite someone. Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to go to the cinema? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to means I want. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. So yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd really like to go. That means yes, I accept. Would you like to go to soccer match? I'd like to, but I. I'd like to, but I means I want, but plus what reason? This is polite refuse. To refuse in a very polite way. I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. So I'd like to, but I. I want, but I am very busy. I'd like to, but I'm very busy. I'd like to, but I'm sick. I'd like to, but I'm very tired. I equals to I would. Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we're talking about invitations. Alright, let's get started. Today. And today's grammar is invitations. For example, this invitation. Would you like to go to a movie? Notice we use the infinitive. Would you like to go to a movie? Now, with this invitation, we are using the word would. And would and the verb is our form of using a hypothetical. It's often used for invitations. So remember, would and a verb is the hypothetical in English, and we often use it for invitations. Would you like to go to a movie? We have another way to ask, and we can use do. Do you want to go to a movie? Again, using the infinitive. So, two ways to make the invitation. The first way with would and like and the infinitive. Would you like to go to a movie? Or with do and want. Do you want to go to a movie? Now, in the response, the person can say, sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Again, with the infinitive, I'd love to go to a movie. Now, I'd is the contraction of I and would. I'd. Sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Or the person can use, yeah, I'd like to go to a movie. Now, when we say yes to the invitation, it is not necessary to repeat the entire invitation. So, we usually just say the short version and we say, sure, I'd love to, or yeah, I'd like to, but it's very important to use the to. Now, when we want to say no to an invitation, to be polite, we use the short form to accept, and then we use the word but to show that we have an obligation and we cannot go with the person. So we say, sure, I'd love to, but I have, or I need, and the infinitive to show the obligation. So, sure, I'd love to, but I have to work the obligation. I have to work. Or maybe, yeah, I'd like to, but 
I need to study. Again, the obligation to study. So to review, when we ask someone an invitation, we have two ways. We use would and like, or we use do and want. We always are using the infinitives. For example, would you like to go to a movie? Or do you want to go to a movie? To say yes, we use the short version and the contraction of I would. I'd. Sure. I'd love to. Remember, the to is very important. Or yeah, I'd like to. But, when we say no, we use the short version to accept, to be nice, to be polite, the word but, and then the obligation using I have to and I need to to show that we have an obligation. Okay, let's take a moment for pronunciation. With the infinitive to and go. The infinitive always uses to, but sometimes we do not say to. We change the sound and we say ta ta we take the ta sound and we put it on the previous verb so for this one we say like ta like ta repeat the sentence i like to go to the movies i like to go to the movies a respond to three invitations then write three invitations for the given responses. Here in this exercise, exercise one, two, three, you answer it will be B. Accept or refuse the invitation. One A. I have text to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? B. Yes, I would. Sure. I'd love to. 2. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Come over means to come, to come for having dinner with me at night. I'd like to, but I'm very busy. I have a lot of work. 3. Would you like to go to pop concert? Would you like to go to pop concert with me this weekend? I'd like to, but I need to save some money. Four, five, six. You are going to make the invitation. You will ask. Yes, I'd love to thank you. So A, what's the question? Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to go to the movies? The movies, the cinema. Five. Would you like to travel to Sharm el-Sheikh? B. Well, I'd like to, but I have to study. Six. Would you like to watch? Would you like to watch Sub Opera's program with me? Yes, thank you. I'd really like to see it. Number C, think of three things you would like to do. Then invite a partner to do them with you. Your partner asks follow-up questions like this. In this exercise, you'll invite your friend to do something. And then, you will ask him more questions.
A. Would you like to go to other park? Yes, I would. When is that? We can go on the coming Friday. Where is it? The other park is in Cairo. What time does it start? We can go at 12 o'clock. Where should we meet? We should meet in front of the gate. When does it end? We will go home at 7 o'clock. How should we get there? Should, we should get there by bus. Ten writing. A text message. Text messages are electronic notes. People send them on cell phones. Cell phones, mobiles. What does this message say? People send text messages on their mobiles. Let's read this. Like to like to see. A movie tonight. Like to see a movie tonight? Like to see a movie tonight? Two. This is number two. But here it means T. T O. C. This is the letter C. But here it means the verb C. S E E. A movie, a film, tonight. The number two, number two plus night. In text messages abbreviations, if you write a text message, you can write some abbreviations like N, A, U, the letter U, U, R, the letter R, the letter C, C, 4, number 4, T, T, O, late, elate, wait, W, 8, wait, great, GR8. Thanks. Thanks, THX. Love. LUV. Love. LUV. Night. Night. Look here, night with GHT. Night here in, when you chat or when you write on cell phones, do whatever you like. But if you write a paragraph or formal writing or an essay, you should write in formal way without abbreviations. Freddy of the Black Eyed Peas. Now this is Freddy of the Black Eyed Peas. You see here a singer performing at World Cup. Another picture on the television show Kids Incorporated on a stage with the black eyed peas Freggy scan the article and look at the picture in what year did each event take place take place happen Occur. She has many hit singles and several Grammy Awards with her band The Black The Black Eyed Peas. She has many hit hit very popular song a very popular song single single one song. So she has many famous popular songs and several 
and several Grammy Awards. Grammy Award, a set of prizes given to people who work in the music industry with her band, band, a group of musicians, a band, a group of musicians, the Black Eyed Peas, she has fans all over the world, she has fans, fans, people who love a celebrity, people who love a famous person, a famous singer, a famous actor, she's a singer, a rapper, rap, rap music, a rapper, someone who performs rap music, a songwriter, a fashion designer, and an actress. Her name is Stacy Ann. Stacy Ann Ferguson. But her fans call her Fergie. So Fergie is her nickname, but his real name is Stacy Ann. So let's ask some question about her. Who is she? She is Stacy Ann. Her first name is Stacy, middle name Ann. This is the father's name, family name Ferguson. Her nickname Fergie. Is she famous? She is very famous. What can she do? What's her job? She is a singer, a rapper, a songwriter, a fashion designer, and an actress. What is the name of her band? The Black Eyed Peas. Here are some highlights of Fergie's life and career. Career, job. So here, we have some highlights, some important events, important events, 1975, Ferg is born on March 27 in California, California, Cali, 1984, Ferg starts acting, doing the voice of Sally in the Peanuts cartoons. So the Peanuts cartoons, this is a name of show. She also stars in the popular television show Kids Incorporated with actress Jennifer Love. She also stars, she becomes a star in a very famous television show. The name of it was Kids Incorporated. This is a name of the show. What happened in 1991? Fergie formed the old female band Wild or Orchid. 2003. Fergie records a song with the band Black Eyed Peas. The band likes her and she records five more songs on the album. Album? A collection of songs on a CD. Album, a collection of songs on a CD. 2004. In 2004, Freggy joins the Black Eyed Peas. The Black Eyed Peas. In 2005, Freggy and the Black Eyed Peas win their first Grammy Award for Let's Get It Started. Let's Get It Started. Start Started. This is, of course, a very famous song. Grammy Award, a set of prizes, a group of prizes given to people who work in music.
In 2006, Freggy makes a solo album, a solo alone, a solo album and has six big hits and has six big songs. Big Girls Don't Cry is her first worldwide number one single. That was her first album that she sang alone by herself. In 2008, Freggy records that I Ain't Cool, that I Ain't Cool was Japanese R&B singer Kumi Koda. She becomes famous in Japan. She becomes famous in Japan. So in 2008, she sang with Kumi Koda. In 2009, Freggy acts and sings in the movie Nine. So Nine, this is a name of a film. Movie, film. The name of the film was Nine. In 2010, Freggy and the Black Eyed Peas perform five songs at the 2010 World Cup celebration concert in South Africa. So in 2010, Freggy and the Black Eyed Peas, they, they make five songs at the celebration of the World Cup of 2010, which was in South Africa. Freggy says, she's the luckiest girl in the world. Why? Why well, she's very lucky. Her song Glamorous, this is the name of the song, Glamorous, says it all, all the fans, fans, people who love her, her fans, people who love her songs. All the fans I'd like to thank, thank you really, thank you really though, cause, cause, because. I remember yesterday when I dreamed about the days when I'd rock on MTV. When I'd be very famous on MTV. Let's answer the question. A. Read the article. The number of these sentences from one, one first event to eight last event. So to answer this question, we should look at the number of days, which one is first, which one is the last event. Try to answer alone first and then check the answers. A. She sings at the World Cup concert. B. She's born in California. C. She acts and sings in a movie. D. Her band wins at first Grammy. E. She forms her first band. F. She's on television with Jennifer, with Jennifer Love. G. She becomes very popular in Japan. H. She had her first worldwide number one song. So these are the questions and we should put them in order. Which one is number one? Number one is B. So number one, B. She's born in California, in Cali. Number two is F. She's on television with Jennifer Love. Number three is number E. She forms her first band. Number four. Number four, D. Her band wins its first Grammy. Grammy Award. Number five. Number five, 
h. She had her first worldwide number one song. Number six, G. She becomes very popular in Japan. She becomes very popular in Japan. Number seven, C. She acts and sings in a movie. Number eight, the last one, A. She sings at the World Cup concert. Concert, musical party. World Cup concert, the celebration, the celebration of the World Cup. The answers, these are the answers. Wish you all good luck. Now that's the end of Unit 4, Part 2. Exercise 7. Vocab book. 7. Invite somebody. Invite somebody on a date. Have a romantic meeting. 8. Exercise 8. Frogs. Frogs. O. A. Ducks. Talented. Gifted. Have a talent. Have a gift. I'd like to. I'd love to. I'd, I would. Exercise number nine, come over. Concert, concert, British, American, concert, concert, OA. Musical party, a musical party. Twelve, head, a very popular song. Popular. Single, single, one song. Fans, people who love a celebrity. Fans, people who love a celebrity. Celebrity, famous. Highlights, to highlight important events. Events, two silent events. Album, a collection of songs. Collection. Performs, sings or acts. Performs, sings or acts. Act, thrilled, very happy and excited. Very happy and excited. Excited. Roller coaster ride. Happy and sad times. Origin, origin. B. Religious, religious. Related to religion, related to religion. Reason, reason, a real story, true story, he plays the cello, our favorite is, we all like, pants, trousers, head, a very popular song, single, one song, Generation, female, girl or woman. Vocal, roller coaster, fast train in amusement park. Ride, fans, audience, people who love a celebrity, a fan. Disney movie, cartoons, race, contest, O A American contest, contest, British contest, 
competition, competition. Beauty contest, beauty contest, beauty, T after the beauty, beauty contest. Competition for choosing the most beautiful, beautiful, T soft D. Competition for choosing the most beautiful. Trip, trip, short journey. Unit four workbook two. I can't stand. I don't like T silent. I don't like. Six. Scary, horrified, terrified, frightening, frightening, crying. Seven. The trump. Eight. Wonder. Time machine. Teens, teenagers. Button, button. T after the American button. Click on, press on. A suburb, suburb. Our skirt, our skirt. Laugh, laugh. GHF, laugh. Police officer, Pol police officer. Mysterious, mysterious. Underwater, underwater. Shipwreck. Shipwreck, ship, shipwreck, W silent, shipwreck, pieces of sunken ships, diving equipment, diving equipment, surface, catch a thief. Romantic comedy. Nine, exercise nine. Soccer. Football. Stadium. Stadium. Big playground. Stadium. Big playground. This is the end of Unit 4 vocab book. Welcome. Welcome. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.